Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Alrighty, folks, we welcome you back here on this Monday edition. I'm Weatherman Dustin Staples. We hope you enjoyed your weekend. It felt more like summer than it did spring, to say the least out there. We had some 70s, and it was just a plentiful, beautiful weekend. Maybe you had a chance to do get ready for Easter. If you're curious, we're now coming up on less than two weeks from that. Uh, Easter is scheduled on April the 9th, so basically meaning Good Friday is April the 7th. So just to give you an idea of where we are with the time. We're wrapping up the month of March. It has been a pretty interesting start to say the least so just keep all that in mind as you're getting ready to get your Easter and um, if you're celebrating Passover if you've got uh, any of those Easter holidays combined together you're going to be so far you know just reminding you let you know how far we are in this, the calendar year especially for our, our school kids you know you recently you had some writing SOLs now the big SOLs are coming up in about a month or so, a month, uh, two months or so, just to keep that in mind. Get ready to see mostly to partly clear skies tonight. Temperature staying in the 70s. We'll see a mostly clear sky late, and the overnight lows are going to dip in the 40s. Excuse me, the 60s, and then getting down in the 50s for overnight lows as well. So if you're doing anything out and about this upcoming up evening, it is going to remain pretty mild and uh, consistently cool. Well, until about after midnight, as our temperatures are going to fall down in the 40s for us. We're going to see much near uh, seasonable temperatures, we'll call it that, because uh, it's not been feeling like it at the nighttime the last several nights anyway. But we're getting close to where we need to be, so letting you know that we're just a few degrees shy from the average low, which is right around 37 degrees. So some of us are running about 5 to 10 degrees even above the average low for this time of year. Now, there'll be a north-northwest breeze coming into play about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Moving on ahead to your Tuesday, we'll see morning clouds linger on to the day with scattered showers later in the afternoon. Again, overcast at times, so if you're going to do anything tomorrow, I would kind of have an indoor recess day uh, at, at best to say it so you're not out there in the rain. Temperatures again staying in the low to mid 60s. Tomorrow's ranking forecast and giving it a 5 out of 10 just because we're going to see a cloudy start to the day and then again that rain showers will be moving in later in the day they could be heavy at times as well but other than that we're going to see a pretty consistent um very cloudy overcast day for our tuesday let's get you on now for the rest of the week and prepare you what to expect we have more sunny days ahead of us than we do clouds so that's some good news for us but of course you know we've been dealing with that wind for the last several days again there were some scattered power outages saturday uh, and even going into sunday for some of our viewing areas so our audience our tv audience you may have been out with power for a little while thanks to some winds that were moving through uh got to the northwest again it was pretty high sustained so it's going to get windy scattered uh, most of the power outages should be restored by today I'm hoping they are uh, with that we are going to see the wind begin to pick back up later in the afternoon tomorrow but it's don't expect this to be like a durational thing where the winds are going to be like consistently howling all afternoon but again a north north northwest about 10 to 20 maybe 25 high east gusts of 30 particularly this higher ridge tops going towards Stewart and, uh, and make your way up towards Madison Dan and Lover's Leap those general directions you're going to probably see the higher wind Guests are fair mountain there outside of Rocky Mount as well. So again, rain showers will be in the afternoon time frame most likely. So the beginning of the day is going to be overcast. Then throughout the day, we'll see those rain begin to move in. And we have a stalled front that's uh, triggering some showers. It's going to begin to move its way over in our region for Tuesday. Set well, Wednesday, it's going to remain sunny at times. We'll see a much cooler day, to say the least, as our lows are going to be dipping back to average where they should be for this time of the year. We'll see that coming into play. Good old 60 degrees there. Thursday, we'll see a mix of clouds and sun to the day. Again, a little, some breezes at times, but of course, it's not called March root winds for a reason, right? That's where we've been dealing with all this for the last several weeks. And again, April showers do bring May flowers. So we're getting ready to get into a wet pattern. It does appear we're going to remain pretty mild as well. Overnight lows again staying in the mid 40s for us and maybe even pushing 60 there Friday night but 
going to Thursday, Friday, mild, warm, another good afternoon to get out and do some yard work. Maybe get that push mower, ride the lawnmower, weed eating, and get the clippers, get some of those hedges cleared back here for you. I know a lot of you like doing that gardening stuff, so this is the perfect week to do that. Tell the kids better. If they get their homework done, send them out the yard to get that yard work done. Save you some time, right? Especially our, our older audience members, you know, your back. You don't want to burn your back out either. But again, make sure they're safely, you know, your modern team so they're not doing anything kind of crazy. So if you're doing any yard work this week, it's going to be looking A-OK. -okay. Temperatures are going to be well above the average high. Coming in there at 76 for Saturday, we'll see scattered rain showers in the morning and it'll turn windy at times again. So that is, by the way, April Fool's Day is Saturday, so uh, the 1st of April is uh, right around the corner as we're just springing on in to the spring season as well. Recap again, we'll see clear skies for the rest of tonight. Temperatures dropping in the mid-40s. We'll see cloudy skies. I've hinted at this already there in the afternoon. We'll see rain showers later in the day, and then our mild spring-like weather will continue to filter on in as we welcome and wrap up the month of March and go into April. Y'all take care. We'll have much more coming up right after this. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.